gonna you tell I'm gonna miss Rocky today. Oh, ring neck. Where's all that green wings? Nope. I should have known by how slow it was flying. Wasn't a drink. Well, folks, you said I wasn't shooting mixed bags. Doggone it, that was a drink cinnamon. That's a stud. That's a butte. I haven't got to shoot one in a while, honestly. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Time. Couldn't get nothing to come in here. Sweet. Love green wings. I would have been st stoked with the green wing limit today. That's all I could shoot. I honestly thought that's all that was going to be out here. So, so many ring necks. I'm just not a. Not, I'm not a fan of eating ring necks. That's four. Motion ducks. Motion Ducks, I got four Drake Shovelers on a Motion Ducks, and he basically just went right over top of it. <sighs> Starting to think I was invisible. Definitely not in the main flow of traffic, though, I can tell you that. Well, good morning, guys. I haven't even done an intro, sorry about that. It's been great, I've got the Motion Ducks, and if you guys wanna check it out, you can check out motionducks.com forward slash, forward slash MVM. And as soon as I whipped this thing out, I started shooting birds. Uh, I got the spinner wing, it's just, it's not the same as the motion, I'm telling you. But you go in there anyways, you get a big discount and you can uh, put MVM 10 in and get an additional 10% off on top of that discount. So I've been passing on ring necks like crazy. I shot one and I was like, I just don't want to shoot no more. And then uh, a lot of hen shovelers. There's some big, some big packs of shovelers. Anyways, we'll keep going at it. I think we can get a limit. Ain't getting away today, sucker. I can't believe I missed that first one. I, I don't know why. I've never been good at those ones coming right at me, up right up above me. <clears throat> I've always struggled with those shots. I don't know why. There's five. Filled him full of some heavy metal. <laughs> I can tell you what, that jerk string pulled him over. I'll tell you right now. Because he was crossing the other way. 
This one ain't so pretty. Looking for that banded Drake Shavala. Nice little solo hunt. Let me tell you guys before I show you the birds, my gear that I use uh, on a situation where I'm doing a solo hunt and I'm not bringing Rocky. I'm just going light, packing in. This is my run and gun setup. The, the backpack's new, but everything else is typical things I use when I don't have something scouted out. Going solo, going light. This is what I take. First off is this dry bag and it's a 30 liter. I'd suggest a 40 liter. I'd rather have a 40 liter, but I've had this for like three years now. You can drop it in the water, no issues. We roll it up and then just throw it in the toys and don't worry about it if it gets wet. So I take that with like my calls, shells, maybe Maybe a drink or two. Then take this motion ducks, as you heard me talk about in the video. Final approach spoonies on there because they stick out really good. Draw a lot of attention because of the white. My shotgun, whatever, 12, 20, 28. Spinning wing, eh, that's not really fully necessary. That's kind of hit and miss. I turn on intermittent. I think it draws teal and good, but I don't feel like I have to have that on my run and gun. And the other decoys, and I like, I mostly go teal because they're light and I can get a lot more in, make the spread look bigger, even though there's not as many. And I'm using final approach cinnamons today. This is like the second hunt I've used them on with some green wings and the rest of the shovelers. And these final approach rigs is like the only way to go. I've used every rig under the sun and like by far this has been my favorite. And then this, last but not least, and I'll show you once it's all packed up. This is that Avery bag. What it does, you lay it on its back, click these buckles. This is like an in the field review, okay? Then you can swing the two bottom ends over and then unzip these six can go in there. And then six can go in here. And then when you're ready to pack out, you flip it. You flip on top and then buckle it. And I can fit close to 20 decoys in here. So between shovelers and teal, cinnamons and green wings in that. And that wasn't even packed full. I couldn't put more in there. With the spinner, my gun goes in there, everything. So yeah, it's the way to go. And that's it. All that stuff I showed you guys, that's everything. Look how nice that is. That's a lot of stuff that goes in there and it's not. Then I'm gonna put my gun on the side and we're good to go. Well, there's the bad guys. Three shovelers, a green wing, and a ring neck. I could have shot four limits of ring necks out of here. After I shot one, I just like, honestly, I didn't want any more. There wasn't a lot of green wings today, and there were some big groups of shovelers, but they didn't really want this pond. The ring neck sure did. So I know where I'm gonna go on the next hunt, I can tell you that. A little refuge mix bag, fun day to get out. Honestly, I'm I'm leaving, I'm out of the pond by nine. It just completely shut off. Rocky wasn't here today, so it was kind of weird being solo. So I had, also had to be kind of picky on my shots and make sure they fell in open water. So anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.